but I am grateful and honored to be here today. Heck, I'm grateful to be anywhere above ground. <laughs> to be here as a cancer victim. <laughs> Between October 2008 and April 2010, my breast cancer resulted in lumpectomy, reconstruction, chemotherapy, radiation, and damage to my heart. You know the old joke about the two older women when one said, I used to be a 36D, but now I'm a 36 long. <laughs> well, thank you to Dr. Eisenberg, I have now two perky boobs. And that's my silver lining. <laughs> Having a positive attitude is not hard. Sustaining one in Michigan, that's our challenge. Cancer is killing us. Now, I'm not scared of dying. Everyone will go someday. What's terrifying is not experiencing life to the fullest. We don't beat life by living longer. We beat life by living well. And my understanding that on our deathbed is the things we do not do that fill us with regret. So when I get a chance to do something cool, I gravitate towards that, like jumping off a 40-foot cliff at Rick's Cafe in Jamaica, man. <laughs> doing a, a backflip off the ski jump at the Olympic Training Center into a Utah swimming pool. With my family taking a luge run, mountain climbing, skiing, scuba diving, watching my daughter walk with her master's degrees from Tufts in Boston. These are my treasures, my presents, my moments, which take my breath away. Today I will share a gift. After I was so blessed to be in remission from cancer, my mom got lung cancer. When I realized I could do nothing to help her, I felt out of control and cried, and she did die. The gift from God was that I recognized how my husband had been feeling while accompanying me to surgeries, treatments, and tests. That's my bald husband who <laughs> shaved his head with me when I was going bald. And look at him. He's so too bald. You see, I was fine with dying because I'm really at peace with who I am and with my maker. But when I couldn't help my mom, that was not okay. And I recognized how my family members, too, need support. And the Patient Family Support Services is all about the victim and the patient family extended members. And I'm sorry that it took me so long, Larry, Lindsay, and, Lindsay and Kevin, to understand that you, too, had to go through some grief. And the obligation of the cure is to share the story of beating cancer with others, to accept the responsibility towards the cure, to be proactive. Everyone here is taking citizenship and helping with money, support, and passion. Thank you, Jay and Tom, for creating this event. Yes. I just want to share thank you for some of the things that your money went towards, which was creating the books that I took out from University of Michigan for the beauty class on how to draw on eyebrows, for the chemo class, for the opportunity to speak at the U of M golf tournament, the Women's Football Academy with Brady and Laura Hoke. As a real estate consultant and coach, my daily life is working with a team of awesome professionals, but I realize I'm on another team with you. I'm grateful to participate with you in joining one team, the fighting team against one con common enemy, cancer. And I'm grateful to you for suiting up, for showing up, and coming here and parting with your hard-earned money to help others. Here in Ann Arbor, we are all victors in many ways, but I am proud to be on Jay's team, to be on our team, one team. 